Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. On tonight's episode, MP36+. Plus. This is the Takara Tomy version of Masterpiece Megatron, which is inspired by the original Generation 1 toy. Boom. So, I'm a little late to the party. This has been out for quite some time. As you can see, it's sealed. So what's different about this version, it's got a lot of chrome on it. It's also got the traditional bucket head. So, why don't we cut the tape? But first, first we need wine. <clears throat> All right. So as I said previously, most of the time, I get two of every figure, one to open, one to keep sealed. It's very true of uh, carded figures, of figures in a window box, but this is a solid box. That means there's no window to see the figure. And so I can put this on a shelf and it'll look the same way it would as if it was still sealed. So in the interest of saving some money, I only have one MP36 plus. So uh, let's go ahead and open it. I'm gonna open it from the top. I got two standard tools I use. Mr. Knife and Mr. Cutter. But I don't think we're gonna need Mr. Cutter today. But Mr. Knife, uh, yes. So. And that's it. The tape has been cut. So I really try to be very careful when I'm opening boxes that I'm keeping or boxes that I just have one of. So let's pull this guy out and the instructions have fallen out. So we have our instructions. It's got, see, that's very cool. It's got like a modern interpretation of the original G1 box art. It's got his card, and what's very interesting here, there's some of the original Generation 1 box art, the various versions, um, the Takar version, Goodbye Megatron, the Hasbro standard version with the scope, and then there's some concept art here on the back. So if I only spoke Japanese, I'd be able to... Uh, to enjoy this a little bit more. But it's stuff like that, it's the history of a character that makes stuff like this even more important. So someone might say, well, you already have a Megatron. Why do you need another one? Well, it's what the character, what the toy invokes. So does it invoke, invoke the animated series? Some figures do. Does it invoke the original toy? Some figures do. And the debate rages on in the masterpiece world of, do I want a toy that is a new definitive representation of the toy I had, or do I want a new definitive representation of what I saw in the show, or to a lesser degree, comics? So that's what I like the, uh, the 36 plus and all the plus figures. The plus figures focus on the animation style except for this one, which focuses on the toy style. So, this is a great reuse of this mold. It looks like there are two trays, one with the main figure and then one with the accessories. It's been a long time since I've uh, played with my MP36 Megatron. So this will be a nice treat. It's, it's been a while. So, let's pop this open. All right. 
shiny, shiny chrome. Absolutely beautiful. You can see he comes with the uh, Toy Accurate head already in place. We're going to keep that head on there. Now, there are certain plastics that take to chrome. There are certain plastics that do not take to chrome. Uh, which is why there are certain parts which may have been chrome on the original figure from Generation 1, which are not chrome on this figure. Um, that is forgivable, I think. Especially when displaying a figure. If there are smaller figures in front, like I'll have my Masterpiece Insecticons in front of them. Or Reflector. You, uh, you, you know, the legs will be hidden. It's not a big deal. It is what it is. I am just happy that this exists in the first place. Let's slide this on. Let's slide the... Nope. I said let's slide this on. There we go. I forgot this is actually, uh... All right, so this actually needs batteries. I don't remember if the uh, regular MP36 needed batteries or not, but this one does to activate his cannon. I tend to take all the batteries out of figures because I don't want any corrosion happening. Underneath is the next tray. Tape is cut. 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 Wow, we might actually have to cut it twice because there's a tray inside of a tray down here. The second tray has a lid. Which is unusual. Usually the tray that holds the figure acts as a lid for the tray beneath it. So with Hasbro saying they're going to get rid of all plastic from packaging, I guess they're going to go back to cardboard for stuff like this, for inserts. Alright, so let's see what accessories we have. So this is the toy chest with the stylish curls on it. This is another chrome chest but it's more indicative of the show. Very cool. We're not gonna use that one though. He's got his scope, which is nice. We'll keep this in the package because I already have the one from MP36 displayed. And then he's got his faces. And I don't remember if these are the same faces or not that the regular 36 came with. I remember MP36 had some battle damage with it, right? So I think these are different ones. We got standard Megatron, which I imagine came with the other one. I think actually all three of these came with the other one, smiling and angry, shouting at you. But this toy for me is here to represent the toy version. So instead of putting the cannon upwards, which I even for, I forgot how to do that. And I'm not gonna force it. It goes here on the side, just like the original toy. It's the little details like that that make it special. The only thing missing is that classic Megatron gun. That's the only thing that I feel this needs. It doesn't need a sword. It needs that gun. And I bet you a classic G1 Megatron gun would actually look quite nice in this hand. He may need some assistance holding it. But I bet you, you put a G1 gun in this guy's hand and it's gonna look killer. Especially a nice chromey one. Mm. I am really happy with that. I am really, really happy with that. So looking at scale, 
I have my Make Toys G2 Megatron here. It was very wobbly. Standing next to Megatron. And then I have one of the larger Autobots. This is Grapel. Or, as some people call him, Grapple. So those guys are there for scale. Grapple's on the larger side of deluxe cars. That was pretty good. I like that. All right, well, I don't think I'll ever transform this. Maybe I will. If it ever goes into a book, I will. So that was it. Thank you. Uh, I like to keep these episodes short. They're pretty basic. It's not a figure review. It's not a packaging review. It's just... This is meant to give me a reason to open the backlog of stuff that I have. So, I hope you enjoy watching me open toys. Check out all the TFYLP shows, and we'll see you next time.